Hey guys, it's Heather. Welcome back to Heather Renee's Acrylic Pouring. Um, this evening I am just doing a quick, um, this is an 8 inch round. Um, I get these from Tracy Reed's um, store, <laughs> which is acrylicpourintools.com or you can find her Tracy Reed Designs on Etsy. So, I wanted to do, I'm going to be doing a very large piece in hopefully these colors, but I really need to see how they're going to blow out and look together first because I'm working with some tricky colors and why is this That's one of them, okay? But I want these other colors incorporated, so I'm going to try a blowout because I have an idea to next level the painting once it's dry. Um, and if not, if I can't blow it out and make it work, then I'll probably just do a swipe and go that route. But let's, let's try this and see if it works. Um, for you, this color here is looking blue. Um, it's really, I'm sorry, I keep saying, um, <laughs> I drive myself crazy. This really looks like a cobalt turquoise color. I did mix it myself, but that's the color it reminds me of and is very, very similar to. So, um, let's, and there I go again. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Okay, let's start with some white on the bottom. And let's see. Let me just do just something simple. I just want to see if I can get these colors to work. Um uh <laughs> Ah, okay, this um, orange that I have right here is Peveo Iridescent Orange. And I'm going to put a little of that over the white. And I'll probably layer the white a couple of different times. See if I can keep the mud that I know should happen from happening. Okay. Um, oh my lord, why do I keep doing Okay, so next, I am using, um, where's the bottle? It's Folk Arts, um, their, their color shifts, um, like Fire Opal and all, and the Treasure Golds. I think they're all called that. So anyway, um, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I'm not sure. Yeah, there you go. I think you can see the shift. It's like a bronze um, with a purple shift to it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's called um, Antique Copper. So, yeah, it's really, really pretty color. So let's put a little of this in here. And let's try not to say um anymore. Okay, now I'm going to put just a tad bit of white, not a thick layer like I did on the bottom, just a little bit on the top there, and I'm going to do, this is Pyro Orange from Golden. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little of that on. Don't want a lot, but I want it to be seen, so. Okay. Uh, let's do another small layer of white. I hope I'm not using too much white, but and 
And this is, um, so oh, there it went again. This is uh, TLP's new um, Wild Atlantic. This was the sample that I got. I'm gonna add a little of that in there. Wow, it looks really pretty with that like cobalt, cobalt, cobalt turquoise color. Gorgeous, really pretty. Okay, and then I'm going to add some Artist Loft Aqua Green. It's got a little thick. So I'm going to try to get this video up for you guys. this evening shouldn't be long or much to edit so and I have a really cool video that I'm hoping I'll be able to get out to you um, tomorrow if not the latest would be Sunday and I'm gonna be working with some templates that I got uh, back in March of this year and have yet to use them um, and they are from Pour Away Arts, Pour Away Fluid Arts, I'm sorry. And you work with uh, resin with those, and they are really, really, really awesome uh, templates. You'll see. I have like a sneak peek of, of it before it um, has color added to it on Facebook. So, you guys, if you see this video in time, it is Friday evening. Check it out. All right, let's blow this out. Okay. Um like the way this side over here is looking. This side is very white, which doesn't surprise me because I did add a lot of it. But let me spin it a little bit. That's actually looking better, to, in my opinion. Okay. Now these are my Dutch pour consistency, but I did have a lot of paint on this substrate, so. But, not too bad. I don't think it's too bad at all. I'll have to work with it a little more, I think. Um, and what I might do, instead of putting the colors layered on top of one another, is side by side them and blow up like that. I think that would work even better. I'll give that a try as well before I do the big painting. But um, this one was just short and sweet. Let me check the paint amount. This isn't, um, this is my Dutch pour recipe, but I do have an awful lot of paint on here, so needs to be spun a little more. Okay. Okay. 
think it's going to be okay. Let me do one more little spin. And then I'll bring you guys down for a close-up. Okay, perfect. Okay. Give me one sec. Okay, guys. There it is. Obviously, all of this is the <laughs> spinner. But, um... Yeah, I think that worked pretty well. I would like a few more little pops of orange. But I didn't get too much mud. Which I'm very happy about. You definitely don't want to overblow your... Uh, whatever you want to call those when you blow out... Um, the more your paint blends, the more it will make mud if it's a color like this or colors like these who really shouldn't play together. They look beautiful together, though. But So let me know what you guys think of this short little sweet one. And um, I'm also going to be having, really quick, I'm going to let you know, um, not in tomorrow's video, but in the one following that, um, I'm, it's just going to be me having a sit down and talking with you guys about some things that are going to be changing, um, that I've really thought long and hard about. My channel's not going away or anything like that, but I'll get into it with you when we have the, the time to, and you know make that happen so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed it uh, i appreciate you being here as always thank you for bearing with me and my stumbling of words and all that good stuff that you guys know and love me for <laughs> so i hope you all have a very good weekend and i'll see you on the next one guys bye